Now, when we think of the word village, uh, it evokes a sense of closeness, of like a small, tiny place. Uh, but when you look at what you built village to be, it's sort of a colossal distance. It's got like this colossal distance feel to it. We wanted to give it a sense of like oomph, like a very sense of reality. So we did our best to make the mountains around the village look as fantastic as possible, to really give it a wide open vibe. We wanted players to walk through the world and be like, whoa, I didn't think of what I could actually go here and wow, this is so cool and everything. So we thought a lot about how to create a game that you can make your own approach to, where you could figure out your own solutions to problems that you face. Uh, this is something we decided to do a lot more with this game. So you have a lot more freedom than in RE7. Uh, we want players to experiment, to figure out things that work for them. We want everyone to think of uh, Resident Evil Village as a horror movie that you can play. It works really well to draw you into the world we've created. You'll want to take your time to fully explore the detailed environments and the fully designed set pieces. The only way that you could make it any more immersive, I guess, is to scan yourself and put yourself in the game. Where did you find this guy? Give me a break, Pete. Hey, I only work with professionals. But the forest greeted them with a dark, cold silence. The bushes empty and into the forest deep. What is it with that creepy story? It's just a local tale. So we included a storybook in Village because we had a huge variety of things that we included in the game. We realized later that it would be hard to summarize all that and players might get confused and think, you know, what's this all about? That would be, you know, not ideal. So we came up with this one storybook that would sort of summarize everything for people so they could understand the whole picture of the game. get the full experience. All the little touches and ideas that the designers add are fully realized and come together once you make it through the entire game. Village to me is... Uh, this kind of story of Ethan, this one guy. So probably the entirety of who he is just kind of brought into a single, one single game for the Ethan Winters that we created in Resident Evil 7, I wanted to see where his story ended up. And I think that's kind of one of the main centerpieces of Resident Evil Village. Take him away. In life and in death, we give glory. The bell tolls for us all. They're coming again. <laughs> Quit being so paranoid. Long ago, a young girl went with her mother to pick berries for her father, who was hard at work. But the forest greeted them with a dark, cold silence. The bushes empty. Yet determined to find the berries, the rascal broke free of mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. 
Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine, under branch, and into the forest deep. It's just a local tale. It's just looking window shop away. <laughs>